Zinger 21C from HW Green Speed. And this is a brand new hypercar that is to the Hot Wheels lineup. It's also an electric hypercar in real life. Really cool looking metallic color on this one. You can see that nice lip on the front, gray wheels on the side. And the interesting is that it has the center seating position, but they're back to back. So you can fit two people in here, but it's like a airplane fighter cockpit style. So really, really cool how they've done that. Look at that big diffuser and big wing on here. And there is the bottom of the car, the Zinger. Ford GT40 from Factory Fresh. And I absolutely love the GT40 and what a cool color combination they've come out with. With this white, we've got the Ford written on the side of it, some graphics, the number eight. And this looks to be like one of the Le Mans cars. It's kind of like a, a matte finish white paint job on here. So it's not a glossy finish, but I think it looks really, really good. And then it's got a little bit of a satin glossy finish to the front with that black right there. The number eight kind of reminds me of like an eight ball. You can see that from the front, it looks like, like an eight ball right there, but Ford GT40 looking great. Ford Escort RS2000 from Factory Fresh. Check out this green color. Just a great, great looking glossy green color to this one. Very clean looking casting. No paint or stripe or anything like that on there. Just a very, very fresh looking of the Ford Escort RS2000. 1970 Plymouth Barracuda from HW Roadsters. Now I do feel it's kind of odd that they call this a Roadster. I mean, this is very much a classic convertible. You can see that nice cowl hood right there, which is what kind of the 426 Hemis and the 440s had for these Barracudas. Very, very cool. These mesh wheels, I don't know about these mesh wheels. I don't know if they really suit the car very well. It looks a little bit too customized out with these wheels. We've got this weird like bottom thing right here. I don't know what that's supposed to be or what it's supposed to imitate. The front end though, you can see it's got that nice, the single headlights for the 70s. The 71 had the two headlights on each side, but pretty cool car overall. 2015 Dodge Charger SRT from HW First Response. And you can see this one is an airline patrol car. It says HW Airlines written on the side of it. We've got gray wheels. You can see the light bar on the top. We've got these tinted yellow wheels on here as well. No stamping or anything for that front grille. They've left it for all the painting on the top as well as the side, but overall pretty cool looking one. There's the bottom of the car for you as well. 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel from Factory Fresh. And I've been a big fan of this casting since its first release, and I really like this red recolor. You can see it says Rebel on the side of it, the gray wheels on there. It looks like it's lifted up as well. Look at that Ram detail on the front end, and very, very clean overall, though. That striping blends in very, very nicely. The back end, it has Ram on there, painted tail lights as well. And there's the bottom of the car, but overall, great looking car. Monster High Gowl Mobile from HW Screen Time. And this one just in time for Halloween to be like a very Halloween themed vehicle. We can see the spider webs on there, spider webs on the front. I'm not sh familiar with what Monster High is. I guess it's some sort of TV show or cartoon or anything, nothing that I watch, but nonetheless, this car is quite the interesting casting to come to the Hot Wheels lineup. These wheels look really good on it. They suit them very, very nicely. There's your bottom of the car. What do you guys think of this one though? Tesla Model Y from HW Green Speed. And you guys know how much I love Teslas. I have one in real life. I have a Model 3. This is the Model Y though, but I do have mine in blue with black wheels, which is exactly what this Model Y is. So I absolutely love the color combination of this one. Looks fantastic. These glossy wheels on there, very glossy paint job on there. Great detail for the rear end. And I love how this is a customized one where it's got that slot in the spoiler and then a the little bit of the ground effects on it as well. Just overall, a great looking casting. There is your bottom of the Tesla Model why? What do you guys think of this new recolor? 47 Chevy Fleet Line from HW First Response Treasure Hunt. And if we look on the card itself, you can see the Treasure Hunt logo right there. So we know that it's for sure a treasure hunt. And then the car itself, we should be able to find a Treasure Hunt logo on here somewhere. I don't see it particularly on the set. Oh, maybe we have it. Maybe we have it mixed into the Sheriff right there. You can see that logo right there right in the center. That's an interesting area to put it. So very, very cool how they've done that. Police written on there, 68 for the year of Hot Wheels. And then on this side as well, we can see the Treasure Hunt logo is mixed into the side of it as well. So very, very interesting placement. I like these wheel tire combination. This wheel is actually quite stiff. 
for some reason. So possibly an error on the axle on here. But nonetheless, this is a really, really cool looking treasure hunt. Volvo XC40 recharge from HW Green Speed. And check this lifted Volvo, all off-roaded out. XC40 written on the side of it. You can see it's got some like snowboards on the top of it, ready to go snowboarding. Push bar on the front end right there. Big wide wheel tire combination. We got these little steps right here. Mud flaps on there. Just a pretty cool design to put this into an off-roader. Just being a regular EV, it's not really my thing, but because it's in this off-road style, it actually looks pretty good in this new recolor. Shark Bite from a new series, HW Mega Bite. And the shark bite casting has been around for quite a long time, but we've gotten lots of different recolors. Check out this recolor. It's kind of like a metallic gold color. And then you can see how we've got the moving shark bite right there, the tooth that moves right there. And when he wheels, I believe that this kind of goes up and down as he moves. Yeah, you can see if I put it on my hand right there, you can see how it moves a little bit. So that's kind of interesting how they've done that casting. There's all the graphics and stuff that there's on the top right there. But overall, what do you guys think of this new series and the Shark Bite recolor? Custom Auto from HW Dream Garage. Very, very cool looking orange color. Although it is kind of a two-tone-ish. If we look, it's more orange on the top. It's more like a lighter tangerine-ish, almost yellowish on the bottom right there. Hot Wheels logo, we got the striping down there. We got the black on the top right there. Some nice striping actually looks really, really cool. I like the design of that one. The front end's definitely unique and different from the rear end. You can see that chrome bumper right there. And then we have the bottom right there, nicely chromed out. And we can see even a little fuel cap right there, I believe that would be. I'm not too sure exactly, but some sort of marking on the back right there. Fiat 500E from Compact Kings. This is a cool recolor of this one. I really like this one. It's kind of like a tealish gray color right there. We got the five on the side, the Hot Wheels logo, some little bit of color on the side there as well. Blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. We can see just the painted front lights for this one. Overall, it's a pretty cool looking recolor. There's your bottom base of it as well. What do you guys think of this Fiat 500E? Max Steel from HW Roadsters. And we've gotten some interesting roadsters. This one with the number 29 on their Max Steel. And this one, I guess this would be considered like a 1930s roadster car right here. I was never a huge fan of this style of vehicle. I feel like they all look so similar, but I guess that's what everyone says about a lot of the newer cars as well. So, hey, can't complain, it's a motor vehicle. I absolutely like them, so there you go. Brick and Motor from Xperia Motors. And check this one out. Obviously this one being part of our Mega Block series. So these pieces on the top will come right off and it will fit with Lego as well. This piece right here will also come off, which is super, super cool. Big wide tire wheel combination on the rear, smaller ones on the front. Look at the skinnies on the front end right there. We can put some pieces in the front here if we want as well. The number eight on the side, got a nice colored base on this one. What do you guys think of this new car? Punk Rod from Rod Squad. And this is an interesting new fantasy car right here. Different wheel tire combination on the front and rear. Matte finish paint job on here and the tinted windows on here as well. And then look at the back, that engine. It's like a neon colored engine and exhaust that we have coming out there. It's kind of like half car, half like indie vehicle or F1 car. We can see a big scoop on the rear end. Diffuser right there on the back end. Just a, an interesting looking car. I'm not really sure it's what to say about this one, because this is just definitely something unique for the fantasy car. Honda Super Cub from HW Moto. And this one is in a nice yellow color right here. We've got the like the lighter color for the regular style, different color seat on there. It looks like my seat has a little bit of an error right there. You can see the little paint mismatch right there for that seat. But nonetheless, I'm not really a huge fan of these motorbike style vehicles that they bring to the Hot Wheels lineup, but I do appreciate that a lot of people do like them, so they do have a place here. Surf's Up from HW Extreme Sports. Check this one out. Looks like Surf's Up's in dirty water. We used to see the light blue water. This looks to be like murky water that he's skiing or, or sorry, he's surfing in. We can see he comes off right there and you can kind of have it like that or you can just put him right back on. He's got the little holes on the bottom. We can just stick them right down so he stays on just like that. The white wheels on here. There's the white base on this one as well. What do you guys think of the surfs up though? USS Enterprise NCC 1701 from HW Screen Time. 
And this one right here, it comes with a little stand. So if you want to display this, you can put it just on this stand right here. Well, actually, you just put it right back on there so it stays on the stand. And you can see the Star Trek vehicle that just sits just like that. I'm not a fan of these style of vehicles in the Hot Wheels lineup. I don't think they actually belong. Like the motorbikes, I can see why, but the Star Trek Enterprise vehicles, I don't know who really cares about collecting them. That's a Hot Wheels fan. There's lots of other toys that they have for them. But what do you guys think? Comment down below your favorite car of our new 2024 release Hot Wheels. Pagani Zonda R from HW Race Day. And this is a new color variation of it. It's kind of like a candy apple reddish color. It's a little bit metallic on there. It's not really my style of color. I don't really like this type of color. The wheels do look really nice. I love these mesh wheels on here. It's different from what we saw previously. It's a really, really cool casting though. I have to give it that. This is one of the coolest release castings in a long time. And just to compare, I've got the white one right here. And I also do have the black or it's a matte black so we can see all three colors just for your viewing pleasure you can kind of compare and see the mainline color releases of them but so far i like the white one and the black one a lot better though 73 honda civic custom from compact kings and here's our new color variation in yellow with the honda logoing on the side the number 73 we got some more logoing on the front right there Pretty clean on the top for that color though. The graphics look really cool. I love these tiny wheels on here. Not much paint or anything on the back. They've left it just for the top and the side, but overall, not too bad of a recolor. Land Rover Series 2 from HW Hot Trucks. And this is a new recolor of this one as well. Really cool. I like this like kind of like like glossy gray color that they have it. The surfboard on the back, really, really neat. The unfortunate thing about this casting when it originally came out, I thought that this window would flip up and down, but no, for a main line, for a $1 car, it does not do that. Nice blacked out wheels on here, pretty clean around the back. It's got kind of the German colors along the side of it. And then we've got that front end right there looking really, really cool. What do you guys think of this Land Rover? 2023 Ram 1500 from Factory Fresh. And this is a brand new casting for 2024. It kind of looks like the TRX, but I don't think they officially call it the Ram TRX, but you guys let me know in the comment section. Do you think it's the Ram TRX or is it just a regular Ram? It looks like it's got like the, the lowered back and the raised front end on there. Like it needs like a leveling kit or something. I don't know, or if it's supposed to be like that, but not bad, really, really cool casting. I do really like these new Rams. What do you guys think of this one? Roger Dodger from A. HW Celebration Racers. And this one looks like it's got a slight bit of air on here. You can see how the card is mounted wrong on the card, like the blister pack is mounted wrong. So it's kind of interesting. I don't think it means anything as far as value goes. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it. And this one has the number 29 on the side. I don't know what the significance of that number is for this car, but good number nonetheless. We got the nice big motor on there. We got the chrome bumper on it, gray wheels on here. The red tailpipes are the side pipes that kind of come out right there, the chrome on the bottom. Pretty nice overall as far as a recolor for the Roger Dodger. DeLorean Alpha 5 from HW Green Speed. And this is technically not a new casting. It was seen in an RLC package, but this is new to the main lines for 2024, or new to the main lines in general. Nice white color, very, very clean, all white color. The gray 10 spoke wheels on there, very clean on the back end of it as well. All electric sports car for this one. And of course it has those DeLorean doors in real life that come up the gullwing style doors, not in this main line though, but very, very cool casting nonetheless. I'm looking forward to seeing what new colors that come out with this. 67 Chevy C10 from HW Art Cars. Check this one out. Really, really cool graphics on the side, the Hot Wheels. It's got some sort of like skull or something on the side of it. And just really, really cool colors on here. Even on that cowl hood on the front end, it's got some nice striping on there. It's got the E on the roof, which will spell out something once we get all of the art cars. Pretty clean on the back. Nice dual exhaust on this one. For you Chevy C10 collectors, this is definitely a neat one to get. Custom 53 Chevy from Rod Squad Treasure Hunt. 
And if we look on the inside of the card, you can see that treasure hunt logo right there. And then if we look on the car itself, we do have the treasure hunt logo just right there on the fender. So pretty neat that they have that included. This one's got these nice white wheels on here. It's got a white top on there. And then check out the front and the open kind of see-through hood on there. So we can kind of see the engine on it. Not really, kind of close to it, but graphics on the side of it look very, very cool. Pretty clean on the back end right there. Just an overall neat treasure hunt for this year. Nissan Skyline GTR BCN R33 from HWJ Imports, the Godzilla. And here is our R33. We've got that Godzilla logoing on the side and the claws ripping right through. Nice gray wheels on there. I love the R33. I think it's one of the coolest looking of the GTR series. It's a great mixture of R32 and R34. It just looks spectacular. Look at that wing too. I just love the design of that wing. The nice lights on the back end right there. And as a comparison to our previous release of the Godzilla, here is our R32 Godzilla compared to our R33 Godzilla. So slightly different color letterings right there and all that, but other than that, two spectacular looking Nissan GTRs. Roadster from HW Celebration Racers. And here is our Roadster, which has International Women's Day written on the side of it. So I guess that's an ode to that right there. We do have some cool coloring and graphics right there on the front end. There is Roadster from the front end as well. Gray wheels on here, bigger ones on the back, smaller ones in the rear. And then we got that nice kind of like pink magenta color right there as well on the bottom. What do you guys think of this new color of Roadster? 67 Camaro from HW Art Cars. And this one in a nice color on there. Look at all the graphics on the side of this one. Really, really cool detail. But the white tires on there with the colored wheels. There it is from that front end right there on the base. We do have a little bit of a gray and a little bit of chrome bumper sticking out as well. Lip spoiler on this one overall. Not too bad. We've got the R on the top of this one as well, which will help spell out something for our art cars of 2024. 92 Honda Civic EG from HWJ Imports. And this one in a nice red recolor of it. We got the nice Japanese graphics on the side or writing on the side. I'm not sure exactly what it spells. Maybe it does spell Honda. You guys let me know in the comment section if you know. Hot Wheels logo right there. The Honda logo, the nice mesh wheels on there as well. We got the sunroof on the top. Pretty clean overall from the top. No graphics or anything like that. Even from the front end right there, we got just the nice painted lights with the Honda logo right there. None on the back, it's pretty clean. Nothing as far as detail or anything goes. What do you guys think of this new recolor of the Honda Civic? BMW 507 from HW Roadsters. And this is the mainline variation of what would be a super treasure hunt. This one's in a nice, it's kind of like a slightly darker tint of yellow, a little bit of metallic in there as well, which is really cool. Got that nice front end, the BMW logoing on there. Got the 822 written on it. I don't know the significance of that. If you guys do, let me know. It's on the side there as well, the BMW logo. It's a pretty cool designed car, kind of like the early style of what would be a Miata later on or the BMW Z1. I shouldn't care to compare the BMW to Miata, but I mean, it's kind of the same style of car, but what do you guys think of this one? 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG from HW Modified. And this one's also a mainline variation of what would be a super treasure hunt. This one is super clean though, just an all red design. And then we got the stamped headlights, the side markers, even that painted Mercedes grill right there, which looks super nice. We got the nice blacked out wheels. One of the coolest castings released in a while. Check out even the back detail on this one. Looks fantastic, really, really nicely done on this. I really like this casting. What do you guys think of this new Mercedes recolor? Ice Charger from HW Screen Time. And this one's in a matte finish gray color. We got some nice wheels on here that obviously stick out like a wide body look on there. We got the bullet holes on the front end for that Fast and Furious movie. That's how they had it all on the side there as well. Super cool how they do that. With the engine on the back and not much as far as uh, stamping or anything goes right there. That diffuser on the bottom. There's your base as well. Overall, it's a nice new color of our ice charger. 1973 Jeep J10 from HW Hot Trucks. 
Love the color on this one right here. I love that K&N graphics on there as well. Super metallic blue for this one. The K&N logoing on the front end. We got that push bar on the front end as well. Look at that, looking really, really nice. Big wide wheel tire combination on here. Got that like slightly raised up front end, lowered down here. And then even the light bar on the top right there. And then the mesh on the windows. Really, really cool how they've done the detail of this one for a mainline casting. Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0 from Factory Fresh. And this one is a fresh new recolor in this nice gray, which is really popular of a color in the modern era right now. We've got a nice striping on the side of it. These wheels are a little bit classic style wheels on there. Good detail on that front end for those lights. I like that hood on there as well. And then nice and clean on the side, which is the striping down there. No detail on the back or anything like that. But overall, it's a great new recolor for a cool looking casting. 87 Audi Quattro from HW Turbo. And this is a new for 2024 casting. We've got the Audi logoing on the side, Hot Wheels logo on the back. Love the 10 spoke wheels on here. Super clean red color, no other markings or anything like that. Got the great detail on that front end as well for the Audi logo. Even says Quattro on the license plate. Nice painted lights on the front end as well. The back end of it, no detail or anything for the lighting. Got that lip spoiler on there. Overall, a great looking casting. Glory Chaser from HW Dream garage the new orange recolor of the glory chaser the number 32 on the side goodyear logoing got that exposed engine right there the number 32 on the front end kind of an odd weird way that they painted that front end as well painted lights on there as well and then on the back i don't know what this thing is on the back what that's supposed to be it's part of the casting can't remember if i saw that in the previous castings hot wheels logo right there the exhaust on the back end right there and then black on the base for the glory chaser gt scorcher from hot wheels let's race series and kind of like retro vibes on this one. I like that purple color on there that's kind of mixed in with the black. Looking really, really cool. The exposed engine on the front end right there, the number seven on there. HW graphics, it says. So it's got some really, really cool, nicely done graphics on this one. I love, love, love coloring on this. The white diffuser on there, white base on there as well. And you can see that color on the front end for that front lip. Just an overall fantastic recolor. I'd love to see some license castings in a color like this. 2010 Camaro SS from HW First Response. This one in a nice lime green, which the Hot Wheels response team are written on the side of it. Blacked out wheels on there. We got the push bar on the front end right there. Even the Hot Wheels response team logoing on the front right there. We got some nice pinstripe striping just down the top. And then we got the light bar on the top of it as well. No stamping or anything on the rear of this one, but what do you guys think of this new Camaro? Vespa 90 SS Super Sport 1966 from Factory Fresh. And this is a new for 2024 casting right here, the Vespa. Obviously, I mean, Hot Wheels are one in 64, but this is definitely a bigger scale than one in 64. I like the design from the side. It looks pretty cool. They've done this one pretty nicely. It's even got the kickstand built into it. So if you rest it flat, it will stand up. Obviously it's not gonna stand up on my hand right here, but it does stand up on a flat surface. And then we got that seat right there, colored plastic handlebars on all that. They don't actually turn the wheel or anything. That would be cool if it did actually turn the wheel, but there is your new Vespa, new for 2024 casting. Piranha Terra from HW Megabyte. And Piranha Terra's in a new color for 2024. This one's in a nice kind of a grayish green color. I love the look of this casting. It looks mean from the front. Definitely looks like a piranha, like an angry fish from the front end. Nice colored wheel tires and got some graphics on the side of it as well. And there's your exhaust, which are your fins in the back, which is super cool how they've done this casting. I've always been a big fan of this fantasy casting. Grass Chomper from HW Ride-Ons. And Grass Chomper looks to be like it's also a scaled up casting. It's not a one to 64. It looks like it's done a lot bigger. It's supposed to be like an off-road tractor. Got some like yellow bar on the back right here. Looks, it's like a, a race tractor. It's like a race chomper. So if this is your lawnmower kind of tractor, lawnmower blades and stuff that it should be right there. It's just, it's, it's interesting. Uh, besides that, I don't know what to say with it. I'm trying not to be mean about it. Not really my style of casting though. Mazda 
RX-7 from HW First Response. And this one is a Japanese police car. So you can see the Japanese logoing and then the word police right there on the side of it. Nice colored wheels on there, Hot Wheels logo on the rear. Love the design of this one with that big lip spoiler on the back end, looks super cool. And then this one would have real pop-up headlights in real life. It's got some nice painting on the front as well and very clean though. And then on the side, you can just see that nice logoing from the back end. We have no stamping or anything like that. They've left it all for these sides overall. Not too bad of a color for this new Mazda RX-7. Wheelie chair from HW Extreme Sports. And we've seen this casting around for several years now and we've gotten it a new recolor of it. Looks like we've got some like American style stars on the side of it, which is kind of neat. Look at the color of the base of this one. Wow, that is definitely interesting. The white tires on the front, the seat right here, and a nice, if you have a Lego guy, he will fit in right here, which is really cool. So you can kind of push around your Lego guy and it's got the wheelies on the back end right there. It says nice American logoing and flag and stuff. What do you guys think of the new recolor of this one? Street Wiener from Hot Wheels Let's Race. Street Wiener, always an interesting casting. I mean, if you don't see it, this is a big hot dog right here. There's your bun. And then this right here is the barbecue, which actually opens and closes. It doesn't stay closed or anything like that, but super cool how they have that. Even though it got the little side things to rest your stuff for the barbecue. And then this right here is also the little, the, the little paper basket that holds your hot dog. And then this right in the front right here is supposed to be the flipper for your hot dog. So very well thought out of a casting or engine on the back. But I mean, it's, it's definitely interesting. What do you guys think of the new recolor of street wiener silverado ev rst and it's interesting that this one doesn't specify it as being the chevy silverado i'm not too sure why the reasons behind that this is from the hw green speed series let's go ahead and open it and there it is in a nice blue color. These wheels, I think, are pretty fitting for the car. On the top, we do have the blacked out roof right there. It's kind of see-through though. It's kind of a see-through window up there, darkened windows all around. There's that front end for that EV. You can see that EV style front end with like no open grill or anything. Obviously, you don't need air intakes for an EV. On the back end, you can see it looks pretty nice. Nice stamping for those lights right there. There's that nice inside for the truck. And you can see it's got some like surfboards on the inside that's kind of interesting it's a cool touch didn't really notice that before and you can see how this goes right through to the interior you can maybe maybe you can kind of see it right there but it does go it's completely open to the interior right through there but overall i think it's a pretty neat looking new ev truck aston martin 1963 db5 from hw screen time and we've seen this casting around for quite some time and it's interesting to see it release in all these different variations and colors. But I mean, to me, all the colors look very, very similar. This is kind of just like a slightly darker gray with some nice gloss all around on it. I like these mesh wheels, they suit the car perfectly fine. We got some nice chrome bumpers, the nice painted rear uh, little license plate right there. And then on the bottom, you can see that nice chrome base on there. Overall, it's a really cool designs car, but I'm kind of sick of seeing more and more of these released in the mainland. That's just my own personal opinion. 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 from HW Roadsters. And this is another car that we've seen a lot of different color variations of, but we haven't seen it for a while. This one in a nice white, and it's kind of a little bit metallic, almost a slightly pearlescent white on this one. We got the gold mesh wheels on there. Nice stamping for these front lights right there. Very, very cool. We don't have the circle on the side of either side of it. Usually we see the Project 7 with that circle on the side of it. Hot Wheels logo right there. Some nice pinstriping on the side. Got some nice paint on that spoiler as well, which is kind of interesting interesting. No stamping or anything on the rear end for detail, just those front lights that has that stamping detail. But other than that, overall, it's a pretty cool recolor of this one. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata from HWJ Imports. And this one in black, and it's got some nice graphics on the side of it. I actually think it suits it pretty cool. We've got the red interior on this one, the red roll bar on there. 
painted rear tampos. Very, very nice. The license plate right there also tampoed. And then we can see the front end. It has the pop-up headlights. Obviously, they're not popped up or anything. We do have some nice stamping for the marker lights on the side of it. These wheels, I think, suit the car pretty nicely for this era. But overall, it's a nice new recolor of the Mazda Miata. Custom 72 Chevy Love from HW Hot Trucks. And this one in a nice new recolor. We got the chrome all on the inside of it. Very, very cool looking chrome. Even that nice sunroof that's open. You can see that chrome right through that. Chrome wheels staggered, of course. And this one is kind of like a drag truck as well. You can see it's got like thicker tires on the back of it. Chevrolet written on the back right there, kind of imprinted. Then we have that nice headers right there sticking out the chrome bumper on this one. But what do you guys think of this Chevy Love? Pontiac Aztec Custom from HW Modified. And this is a new for 2024 casting. We can see this one totally customized out. It's the ugly Pontiac Aztec, but they've tried to make it look cool. So they've lowered it. They've put like a body kit on there. Look at the diffuser on this. Just an absolutely huge diffuser. There's that weird spoiler on there. It's got even the wide body. So if we look from it from over top, you can see those wide body fenders sticking out. The 68 for the first year of Hot Wheels. There is that crazy looking front end. It's totally lowered and customized what a crazy looking casting. I don't know what they're going to do with this one in the future as far as recolors. I mean, they could put some crazy stuff on this one. It'll probably be an art cars eventually. I feel like it would be a crazy art car. Baja truck from Hot Wheels. Let's race. And this one has the Hot Wheels racing team livery all around it right there. I really like the livery on this, the blue, the nice logo on there. Look at that striping even down the center. It looks very, very nice. Aggressive, mean front end on this one. You can see the sides all lifted. It's got these nice fat mudder tires on there. Got some graphics right there on the side, the 68 on there, BF Goodrich on the back of it as well. And then we got that kind of weird like plastic area right here, which is has all your supplies and all that. Overall, I think it's a cool looking casting. Cadillac Project GTP Hypercar from HW Turbo. And this is also a new for 2024 casting. Absolutely crazy looking. I was looking forward to opening this one up. We've got a nice matte black finish, very clean paint job on there. A little bit of a pinstriping on the top right there. You can see outlining where that cockpit is. We can see the mesh wheels on here in a nice chrome painted color. Got some sort of weird graphic on the side. I'm not too sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Just look at the aerodynamics of this car. Just absolutely crazy looking. Love this piece right here that comes down the center and connects that spoiler right there. Just a super interesting looking. You guys know I love hyper cars and not this one. It's definitely impressive. Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe from HW Race Day. And this one with the golf livery on there. I love the golf livery. This is definitely added to my golf livery collection. Got the big tires on the back, the small ones on the front end. There is your Cobra Daytona Coupe classic rear end right there. The number three on the side golf logo right there on the side of it as well. And there's your big golf logo on the front with that striping that comes down. We even got a spare wheel in the back right there. That's a super cool touch detail to this one. Overall, I love the golf livery cars and this one is definitely a nice one. Volvo XC40 Recharge from HW Green Speed. And this one in white with the XC40 written on the side of it. It's got some snowboards on the top. This is ready to go snowboarding for sure. Nice blacked out lifted wheel tire combination right there, which looks super cool. I like this color a lot better than the original release of this car. The original release of this car didn't get a lot of love, but I think the color version of this makes it look a lot better. It looks like it's totally ready to go in the snow. Very impressive. I'm liking this Volvo XC40. Corvette Stingray from HW Dream Garage. And this is a recolor to a casting that's been around for quite some time, but I absolutely love these C3 Corvettes. I think they're super cool. Although I have to say, I feel like this casting might need a little bit more of a refresh. This is all plastic body on here, which is very disappointing. We do have the metal base on there though, but come on, we gotta see a full nice retooled metal body of this one. Look at the detail in the back, just not that great. I love the car. Don't love the casting. Don't love the color of this one, but you know what? Crazy looking Corvette. 
Let's see a new one. 1970 Dodge Charger RT from HW Art Cars. And this thing is absolutely crazy looking. Look at the colors on this one on the side, the Dodge Hot Wheels logo in the different color. We got the eye on the top. We got some different graphics on that front hood. Chrome grill on here, crazy looking wheel tire color combination. The chrome on the back of this one is, well, just look at that from the top. Just what a crazy looking car. Look at the colors on the bottom as well that you can see come through. I really like this one as an art car. Monster High Ghoulmobile from HW Screen Time. And this is a fresh new recolor of this one. Just a crazy looking car. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a fantasy car because it is from that Monster High show, but you know what? It's definitely not really my style. I know this is a new for 2024 car. It's got the crazy colored interior and all the spider webbing on there, but just really not my thing. But gotta respect the color that they've done with this one. They've done a good job at it. So if you're a fan of this show or this car, then this is a nice one for you. Batman Forever Batmobile from the Batman series. And this is a treasure hunt. You can see the treasure hunt logo just right there on the bottom. Let's go ahead and see if we can find it on the car itself. Let's open it. And here is our Batman Forever Batmobile. And as we look for the Treasure Hunt logo on here, I do not see it so far. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, we've spotted it now. It's just right there on the side. You can see that right there, just on that side window right there. Is it on this side as well? It is not. So when in the package, we didn't see it because you know what, it's hidden on just that one side. So that's interesting how they've done that. Usually we see it on both sides, but they've just left it on that one side. I don't think this is an error or anything like that. I think that's just how it's supposed to be. You guys let me know in the comment section if you found this one already, where the logo for the treasure hunt is on yours. Is it on both sides or is it on the single side? Brick and Delivery from HW Metro. And this is a nice recolor of the brick and delivery. I love the crazy looking like flames on the side of it. And if you don't know about this car, obviously it does work with the Mega Blocks or Lego and these pieces on the top will just come right off. So you can build something on the top if you want to or switch things around however you want to as well. We'll go ahead and come on, get in there. There we go, we got that back on, got that back on right there. We even got the little Lego style, like mega block style right on the front right there for the headlights, the wheel tire combination, even on the back right there. It's an interesting car. I like how they've done this, but just really not my style of Hot Wheel. Flipping Fast from HW Celebration Racers. And this is a new for 2024 casting as well. And something interesting on why this one is called Flipping Fast. So which is the bottom of the car? You can see when we turn it around, it can roll on both sides. So we can roll it this way if we want to, or it flips around and it can roll this way. So very interesting of a casting. I really like how they've done that. You can see if we flip it over on this side. You can see the swillers kind of down and we can see the swillers kind of up on that side. So, I mean, I would say that's your, your proper way because the spoiler is up, but you can see the rivets are on this side. And on the bottom, you can see that they're not. I don't know. It, I don't know which side is the proper side, or is it just flipping fast? It's just supposed to go whichever way you want to. So very interesting of a casting. What do you guys think of this one? Laying Lowrider from HW Reverse Rake. And this one's nice with the flames on there. And look at the metallic paint on this one. Just sparkle in my lights right there. Very, very nice. The paint on there looks really good for those stamping of the flames. You can see how it's got the, the nice wiggly we, uh, like engine on the front. So when you roll those wheels, you can see that engine bounce around. It's meant to do that. So that's pretty cool. It's obviously raised in the front end, lowered in the rear right there. I like that low rider look. There's those flames on the side of it. Chrome bumper on the front. Overall, kind of a cool car. Not really my thing though. What do you guys think of Lane Lowrider? 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel from Factory Fresh. And this is a fresh new recolor of this one in a nice black look to it. Very, very stealth looking. Really like that. Great stamping for those rear lights, as well as the graphics on the side. You can see the Rebel kind of written in there. And then that front end, great detail on that front end. Looks really, really good. I believe we saw this one in, I think it was red and white, our previous color releases. Now we got the black. 
I think the black one is the best by far. It looks so, so good. Trucks in black just look really, really good. I feel like it's the best color suited for trucks. And we even got that nice sunroof on the top of it. What a great looking casting. Mustang Funny Car from HW Art Cars. And this is another art car with the lettering on the top. This one has the V and this Mustang funny car, it does not open up. Like we had previous castings of the Mustang funny car that did open up, but now they have it closed. So it's kind of disappointing in that aspect. I like the graphics on the front. They look really, really good as well as the graphics on the side of it. Even says, uh, what does it say? Something 24 HW art cars. So it does say that 2024 HW art cars. We've got the parachute style in the back. Interesting color for the wheel tire combination and the base on there. What do you guys think of the Mustang funny car? 57 Chevy from HW art cars. Another from the art car series, this one with the T on the top of it. And then it's got like these Scrabble letter board all around. And you can see it does spell out some things. So we can see Chevy right there, 57 Bel Air written on the side of it. Let's go ahead and see on the front end. Do we see anything written on that front end or the top? Not really that we see anything. If we look on this side right here. Do we see any writing? If you see any words or anything on this side, comment them down below. I wanna know if you guys can find any words on this side right there. So there you go, Get let you get that other close up look of it. All right, there you go. So now you let me know what other words you see for this HW Art Cars. Tankinator from HW Ride-Ons. And the Tankinator we've seen in several different colors. What a big Hot Wheels casting and it's got this piece that moves on the top it goes all the way around which is super super cool it says tankinator on the side really heavy duty wheel tire combination on there there's that base right there with that tread down there as well we got the exhaust sticking out the back of it what an interesting casting what do you guys think of the tankinator surf duty from hw metro and there we have Surf Duty, our Surf Patrol truck right there. Nice color on this one. I really like this metallic color on here. Lifeguard Beach Patrol that it says. These wheels, I feel like they suit the car perfectly. We can see that front end with the white on there. There it is on the side. And this is just where you store all your lifeguard gear and all of that good stuff right back there. The white base looks really bright on there, but very, very nice. What do you guys think of this one? F-150 Lightning Custom from HW Green Speed. And this is a recolor of a new casting that we saw in 2023. It was a late new casting. This one is not too bad. It's like a customized Ford Lightning electric vehicle, but this one has like all that body kit and all that good stuff on there. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I probably would have liked to see more cleaner like stock variation, but I mean that front lip does look pretty cool, but it's all plasticky in there and this particular color is not my favorite it's kind of like that darker burgundy-ish type of red which i don't really like but hey nonetheless the ford lightning custom there it is corvette c6 from hw roadsters and this is a really cool casting. I really like it. And we can see on the back, no stamping for those tempo lights. They've left all of that for that side kind of stripe thing. That's pretty cool, neat looking. And then also on the front end, you can see it's kind of got like that grand sport style striping mixed in with the hood stripe on there. So that's a little bit different, unique. And then inside, they got the black interior, blacked out wheels. And then on the bottom, that is what it looks like. Overall, not a bad casting. I like the color of it. Proton Saga from Compact Kings. And this is a brand new for 2024 casting, the Proton Saga. So this car, very popular in Malaysia, not so much in North America. We don't really have it in North America at all. So to us, it looks like just a basic normal car, nothing exciting, but to the people in Malaysia, this is definitely something special. It kind of goes back to their heritage of them producing cars. So much respect to that. And I'm glad Hot Wheels made it for them. That's very, very cool. But in North America, probably not gonna be as popular as it would be overseas. 87 Dodge D100 from HW Reverse Rake. 
And we've seen this casting several times before, but now we've got a new recolor of it. This is kind of a cool color. I do like this color on there. We got some striping on the front, the 100 Dodge 100 right there, which is pretty neat. The push bar on the front end and look at the color of these wheels. That is really, really cool. Of course, we got the raised front end on the D100, spare wheel tire combination in the back, kind of like skinny wheel tires that are on here, which is a little bit weird, but hey, nonetheless, this is overall a great looking casting. Happy to see the new recolor of it. Nissan Skyline RS KDR30 from HWJ Imports. And what a cool looking color on this one. Look at that purple, looks so good. It's kind of purplish pink color. Looks really, really neat. The gold wheels on there as well. The number six on the side, some nice black writing on the side of it, like these stripings and stuff like that. And then also look at the back, look at those painted lights all stamped, the nice RS on the back as well, the exhaust right down there, nice on the bottom. But overall, this is a really, really cool looking car, cool casting. We've seen this one in several different colors, but I think this one has gotta be the best color release of this casting. Audi RS e-tron GT from HW Green Speed. And check out the white on white for this casting. Nice glossy white body with the white wheels to match it. And then we got blacked out tinted windows. The actually the rear one's not so much tinted as the side ones are in the front. But overall, look at that front end right there, the e-tron GT front end. So they don't have to have like a full grill on there, but they still made it look really cool. Really like these lights on there and on the back end, you can see it's all painted and stamped. So they've done a fantastic job at this one on the bottom. You can see it's pretty normal down there but overall i really like the white on white of this casting what do you guys think of it el segundo coupe from hw turbo and this one is a new recolor of this fantasy casting we can see it's got the number 68 for the year of hot wheels the year it was introduced the striping on the front this one kind of looks like a cobra like a cobra coupe of some sort, I don't know, it just, it's it's pretty cool. I really do like this one. For a fantasy casting, I really, really like it. Dual exhaust on there with the kind of clear back end, the lip spoiler on there. Overall, it's a pretty cool looking car. Nice new recolor of it. Mazda AutoZam from HW Dream Garage, a Legends Tour winning car. Let's open it. Now I've been waiting to open this one up. This is so cool. It kind of really reminds me of a jacked up Mighty K, like a raised up Mighty K with that big wheel tire. Like just look at the size of this wheel tire combination and it rolls really, really nicely as well. Very, very cool. Just love how raised up this is. Got some storage on the top, a little bit of things in the back right there. Just the suspension and the raised upness of this car. Let's actually grab the El Segundo Coupe that we just opened up right here and we can put them side by side and you can just see how much bigger this Mazda Auto Zam is and like how much taller it is. That is just absolutely crazy, but such a cool car. Very happy to see this one in the Hot Wheels lineup. And I know a lot of collectors are gonna be wanting to get their hands on this real quick. Volkswagen T2 pickup from HW Hot Trucks. And we've seen this casting several times before. And this time we've got a matte finish paint job on here. It's got some sort of like German writing on the side of it. If you know what that means, you can let me know in the comments. I have no idea what that says. We can see that big engine on the back. It's kind of a titanium chrome color for the bed and for that engine. That's really cool. I like the touch of that. We have that white trim all on the bottom, the white base on it, of course, as well. And it's totally lowered out. Just really, really cool looking. Very, very customized pickup, the T2 pickup, but very nice. What do you guys think of this one? Drift and Brake from HW Modified. And this looks to be some sort of customized drift wagon of some sort from Hot Wheels. We can see it's like, obviously it's a fantasy casting. You can see all the different slots on the top of it. These big, massive wheels on the back of there. Smaller ones on the front. We can see the exposed engine on the front end as well, which is pretty neat. Nicely in chrome, chrome interior on this one as well. But it's not too bad. It kind of reminds me of like a totally customized out Volvo drift wagon. And it's kind of like the two door fantasy version of that. HW Braille Racer Twin Mill from HW Celebration Racers. And this one is in a matte finish paint job on there. Of course, it's got the braille on the back of the braille on the side. 
and the braille on this side as well as underneath it's got the braille on there it, it's supposed to say something i can't remember exactly what it's supposed to say or, or what what uh, anyone who is blind that can touch this and feel and then read the braille and see what it says but it's definitely really really cool that they've done something like this it's it's very cool to the community out there that wants some toys that they can kind of play with and have some sort of connection to so much respect to mattel and hot wheels for coming out with a car like this and this is the new color variation of it 72 stingray convertible from factory fresh and even though the card doesn't specify this being a Corvette, obviously it is a Corvette. I don't know why they left the word Corvette out on there, but it is a 73 Stingray Corvette. You can even see the Corvette logos on the back. Great stamping on the rear of this one. The chrome interior on there. Just a very nice gloss white on this one. I love the paint on this one. Looks really nice. Then we have the pop-up headlights as well on there and a really cool thing that this can do. If you see this little piece right here, if you shine a flashlight right through it, put the flashlight right down there, it'll actually show right through to the front of the headlights. So you can have the headlights kind of on. So that's really cool that they've done something like that for a little Hot Wheels car. But I really enjoyed this casting. This is new last year. And now this is probably our second or third recolor of it. Ram 1500 Rebel from Factory Fresh. It's a brand new white recolor of the Ram Rebel. We can see this one right here. I think we got it in a blue and a red, if I'm not mistaken, before. This white one looks really good. You can see all the lines of it very, very nicely. You can see the Rebel riding on the side of it. Look at from the front, very aggressive looking. The black interior, the big sunroof on there, the nice bed on there with the black and the white on the back right there. Then on the bottom, we can see it's kind of looks like it's raised up, but I think it's just like the normal size of the Ram Rebel truck. But overall, I really like this casting and enjoying it in this new white recolor. 1956 Corvette from HW Screen Time. And yes, this is another release of a Barbie Corvette. This time we've got the flame job on this one. I can't remember in the movie. I did watch the movie, but I don't remember if we saw a 56 Corvette that had these flames on there. I'm assuming that there was at some point, and that's why they came out with this one. This is a matte paint job on here though. Very interesting color for a matte paint job on a Corvette. But what do you guys think of this one? I actually kind of think it looks cool. I really, really do like it. I love this era of Corvettes and it's really cool to see it coming into the lineup. But something else to note that I just noticed, if we look at this, it's a four seater. It's a four seater or it's got like the two seats maybe for the two Barbie things, but Corvettes were never a four seater. So that is definitely interesting to have that back row of seating on this Corvette. Honda Civic Si from HWJ Imports. And this one's for all the Civic fanboys that want that golden Civic. Yes, this is a nice gold flaked paint job on this one. Blacked out wheels with the gold lip on there. And we have the imitation carbon fiber hood on the front end. Good detail on there for the stamping of the lights. The intakes right there actually look really good. The nice sunroof on the back. I don't know if we've got like speakers or something in the back right there. Maybe subwoofers and amps back there, which all these Civics were known for. We got the big spoiler on the back painted license plate, a little bit of painted stamping right there for the lights as well. The exhaust on here on these Civics, I like to call it the fart can exhaust because that's kind of what it sounded like. All these Civics had that on there, but there's your base for this one. But what do you guys think of the golden Honda Civic Si? 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor from HW Hot Trucks. And this one is so cool looking. I really like the HKS graphics that they put on all of these. We've seen lots of different Hot Wheels release with the HKS graphics and color variation. But if I ever got my car wrapped in real life, I would love to put a wrap on with these graphics. I think it looks so cool. Then we got the blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. It's kind of interesting to see an HKS Ford because usually HKS is for like a lot of the imports and stuff. We see a lot more imports with the HKS logoing and stamping on there, like the GTRs and all that. But I think on a Ford Ranger Raptor, I think that looks really good. What do you guys think of this one? 2018 Camaro SS from HW Dream Garage. And this is the main line of what would be a super treasure hunt from the B case for 2024. But the main line looks pretty good itself. Nice gloss black, got the nice striping down there. It's kind of like an 
orangish tint stripe. It's not really like a red. I thought it was red initially, but it's more of an orange. And then we do have the nice big wheels on the back of it right there. A the little ones on the front. No stamping or anything on that front end, but it's a nice aggressive looking front end. The rear as well, it's kind of plain. There's your bottom base for it. But overall, as a super treasure hunt, I mean, I feel like we've seen just too many Camaro super treasure hunts. We need to get some more interesting super treasure hunts. So we need to campaign for 2024 for Mattel and Hot Wheels to make some better super treasure hunts. Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 from Factory Fresh. And this is a fresh new recolor. And you guys know I love my yellow colors. And this one being a Porsche, I think it is fantastic. Carrera written on the side of it. Nice blacked out wheels with the chrome lip. A little bit of a lip spoiler on the back end right there. And I don't know what, like this riding looks a little bit messy. I know it says like Porsche, but it looks pretty messy back there. I don't know if it's a stamping error of some sort on mine, but on the side of it, we can see their Carrera on that one as well. The front end, the classic lights of the Porsches, and we even got the Porsche logo just right up there on the front end. Overall, a great, great looking recolor for this one. What do you guys think of this Porsche Carrera? Nissan Patrol Custom from HW First Response. I love the recolor of this one. I feel like the original ones were just a little bit boring of colors, but look at this with the snow mixed into this one. We can see it's a mountain rescue. Obviously it's a snow mountain. We've got the whited out wheels, tire combination on there, the exposed engine, and of course, just all that rift of snow that have just been pushed back onto the car. So it's supposed to look dirty and snowy. Could have maybe seen a little bit more snow on the side of it, just a little bit on those wheel wells there. But overall, I think this looks so, so cool in this new recolor. It's a great addition to the HW First Response series. 2015 Dodge Charger SRT from HW First Response. And this one is an airline response emergency vehicle. You can see it's got HW Airlines written on the side of it. Not a big fan of these wheel tire combination, very boring looking to me. We do have the light bar on the top, the kind of yellow tinted windows on there, the number two HWA for Hot Wheels Airlines on there, which is pretty cool. No stamping on the front. They've left it all for that side as well as the top. They got a little bit of a black spot right there. Nothing on the back as well. Overall, kind of an average car, nothing too exciting. 76 Greenwood Corvette from HW Modified. Loving the new color on this one, looking fantastic. Got the Hot Wheels and the Chevy logo on the back. The Greenwood Corvette, if you're not familiar with, it's a casting that's been around for quite some time, but it's a fantastic looking casting. The one thing I really, really like about this casting is that rear and look at the wide body on that. We can see like, it's got like intakes on there that come right through. That is so, so cool. The ride body, you can see that's that's your standard C3 Corvette size. And then we got the extension of that wide body. And even when you look at it from over top right there, you can just see how wide this car is. It's a very, very cool looking casting. Limited grip from Rod Squad. And Limited Grip is a truck racing kind of, it's a fantasy casting. It's just totally customized out. I actually really like it. I don't think it's like fully fantasy because I feel like it's made after some cars in real life. Like it's supposed to be trucks like this that have all this customization, but maybe they don't have it fully licensed. But I think it looks really, really cool. Look at the bars on the back, the way they have these, like it's just like a slim body on the inside of it with these wheels and tires that you can see right there fully exposed. Really, really cool looking cast. Look at all the sponsorships that we have on the side of this one. Obviously it's got some big engine on there with the open hood Hot Wheels logo on the top. Overall, it's a really cool casting. I like this one. Humvee from HW First Response. And we've seen this casting around for a long time as well. This one says tactical response on the side of it, as you can see right there. We have some writing on the back, Hot Wheel first response with the Hot Wheels logo on there. It's an interesting color on this one as well. Kind of like a little, maybe a little bit of an army grayish color, but it's a fully plastic body, which is slightly disappointed maybe for a Hot Wheels car. Would have liked to see a little bit more metal. We do have metal on the bottom, so they kind of flipped it where usually we see metal on the top and then the plastic on the bottom. But nonetheless, this is a pretty cool looking casting. I still like these original Hummers. I think they're really cool. I think this casting is a little bit too small in scale though. I feel like it's a little bit smaller than a 164. But nonetheless, what do you guys think of this Humvee? GMC Hummer EV from HW Green Speed. 
This is a fairly new casting and this is about the sixth color release that we have of it. You can see the cool Hummer details on the front end right there. Big wheel tire combination. I really, really like this blue color. I think it looks fantastic. That nice open rooftop design looks really good. We have Hummer written on the back there as well. But overall, I really like this casting and this new recolor of it looks really good. 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser from HW Reverse Rake. And we've seen a lot of color variations of these gassers and this is another cool looking one. It has the collector written on the side of it with all these different logos. Even on the top right here, look at the paint job for that. We have a Hot Wheels logo written right there and it's surrounded by some cool graphics. We have that nice big chrome engine on there and there is our kind of raised up front end. So you can see that part right there where that raises up those front wheels right there or the body of it. So it looks like it's raised up. Really, really cool design of a car. I've always liked these Bel Air gassers and this is another good color variation of it. 57 Jeep FC from HW you hot trucks and this is a really cool design casting right here i really like this one with this cool paint job on here this is a really nice like army style color paint job on here but very glossy you can see it's got that spare wheel tire combination in the back the nice big blacked out wheels on there as well pretty clean looking casting this one it's just got some like i guess these are like the german flag colors right there if i'm not mistaken so it's kind of cool obviously volkswagen being from germany itself but there you go what do you guys think of this 57 jeep fc back to the future time machine in hover mode from HW screen time and there we have this casting which we've seen many times before and this actually been a super treasure hunt before as well so you can see it's got these crazy wheel tire combinations sticking out right there this matte finish paint job looks really really good it shows the lines very nicely you can see all the different stuff from the back to the future in the back right there for this time machine even look on the bottom right here just look how they have the wheels kind of pushed out right there that's just a really really cool design how they're able to do this in a 1 in 64 scale casting with the detail that it has for just even just a basic hot wheel it's just a, a great job that they've done in it a lot of people just don't like this casting though just because we've seen it just so much and it's just been recycled a lot but nonetheless it's done pretty nicely tool again from Xperia motors treasure hunt and yes this is our treasure hunt for our 2024 c case and we can see very obviously that treasure hunt logo right there on the side. So no hiding on this one, very easy to find. And this is a really cool casting because it's got our little wrench on the back. And this is a real wrench. You can actually use this if you find the right size and you can tighten stuff with it. So pretty cool how they've done that. You can see how they've integrated it into the metal base right there. So it's nice and strong, but just a really, really neat casting how they've done that right here. And you can see the color of this one. We got the Hot Wheels logo on the side, a different wheel tire combination on here. But there you go, if you need a tool, you can just use our tool again. McLaren Solus GT from HW Modified. And Hot Wheels wasted no time giving the McLaren Solus GT a recolor. We saw it originally in white. Now we've got this really cool color. You can see, oh, look at the graphics that they have on the front end right there that kind of mesh right into the side of the vehicle. Look at that, that is super, super cool. And continues on the back, very, very nice. Wheels look really good on this, I like those. Then we can see from the back end, just a really interesting design car. Obviously being a single seater car, so it's got the single seater center position on this one, which is a really, really neat car. And what do you guys think of this new recolor of the McLaren Solus GT? 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata from HWJ Imports. And we can see the color on this one, which is really cool. We can see that big wing on the back right there, blacked out wheels with the white trim on there, the number five on the side, a little bit of graphic sponsorships on that side right there, and even continues right on that front end. Not much detail for the lights or anything like that. That's a little bit disappointing. Even the back, it's pretty plain. We can see that diffuser underneath there as well. But what do you guys think of this new recolor of the Mazda Miata MX-5? Mod Rod from H. HW Art Cars. And what an interesting color of this one. Check out the design. We've got the C on the top right there. Obviously, if you don't know that every year, there's some something that all the art cars will spell out. So you gotta get all the art cars and then spell it on out. I'm not too sure this year what it spells out. We do have the nice chrome gold engine bay right there. And just check out that from the side. That just looks so cool with all those colors on there. And then on the front end, you can see that nice gold with the white tires on this one as well. Different wheel tire combination from the front end 
and rear. The back end is kind of plain. We have the bottom red base on there, but what do you guys think of the new recolor of the mod rod? Custom 68 Camaro from HW Modified. And this was a really cool new casting from last year. It's got the 68 on the side. It's a totally modified, customized out Camaro. It looks so, so good. And I really like this titanium chrome that they have in here. They've continued that into this casting. We saw it in the previous color variations as well. You can see even from right there, the cylinders just sticking right out right there. We have just, like, just such a cool design car. I just can't get over how well they've done this car and how cool the design is for this. Look at that, even the winglets sticking out right at the back right there. This color also looks fantastic on it as well. But what do you guys think of this one? Mostache from Xperia Motors. And this is a brand new casting, which has a very, very unique thing that it does for it. You guys know what it is just by looking at this. Can you tell it all? Well, let's go ahead and show you right here. You can see this little piece right up here just pops right out. And now you've got a little comb for your mustache. And you can even see how this is just like shaped like a mustache right here. So you can you can brush your mustache and shape it nicely. But isn't that interesting how they've done that? The mustache right there, you can see how it stores right in the center of the car right there. Just really interesting design, just something different. I know it's not for everybody, but I appreciate Hot Wheels doing something different and releasing these cars that have these really weird and odd moving parts to them. HW Ultimate T-Rex Transporter from HW Screen Time. And wow, check out this new casting right here. Just a lot going on right here. What do we have? We have, it looks like we have one, two, three wheels right here, but it's actually only a four wheeler. These ones are just kind of imitation. They're not actual wheels. Orange color base, orange color tires on there. And then we have this big T-Rex on the front end. Like what is going on with this one? And it's a transporter. So apparently it transports something. No moving parts or anything like that on this one right here. Just very odd of a Hot Wheels casting. Definitely not for everybody. I know a lot of people don't like the fantasy cars. This is, it's an interesting fantasy car. Maybe not really my thing though. Group C fantasy from HW Race Day. And yes, this one is a fantasy car, but it's more of like a supercar fantasy car. So more my style, although, I really think that this car needs a wing. I think this car, if it had a wing, it would just make this car look so much better. I do like the combination of the black wheel on the back and the white wheel on the front. I think that looks pretty cool. It's definitely something different and interesting to see. The color on this one, very, very nice. The number three right there. And overall from the side, you can actually kind of see through this one. That's just how this one was designed. It's got a little slot right through it. But nonetheless, Group C Fantasy, we've seen this one last year as a new casting and now we're seeing many different recolors of it. Mad Mike Drift Attack from HW Modified. And this is also another new casting that we have already got this new recolor of it. We saw that one originally in white, and now we've got this matte gray finish to it. Totally, totally matte finish on here, but I like it. You can see the lines very nicely of the car right there. We've got that Mad Mike's logo on the front end right there, blacked out front lights. And this is an interesting design because you can see how they've like slotted that back window off. So it's definitely unique. It's different, something we don't see. And then we can see that big wing and big diffuser right here. I mean, just look at underneath how you have this diffuser, which just brushes the air right out in this massive spoiler on here, like kind of a massive lip spoiler. So definitely a cool design car. What do you guys think of this new recolor? 1976 Little Red Express Truck from HW Celebration Racers. And this one's got the 2024 logoing on there. I'm not sure if it's a Chinese New Year car of some sort. If you guys know exactly what it's supposed to mean, let me know in the comment section down below, but let's open it. And there is our little red express truck right here. And this is kind of like in a burgundy red, but it's got a lot of metallic to it. So it looks pretty neat. Got some really good lines and striping all over right there on the back end, kind of plain on the back end. We got the chrome underneath for that chrome base right there. So nicely done. We got the exhaust pipe sticking out the side. And there's that logoing on the side end right there as well. Not really my style. I don't really like these older style pickup trucks. Not really my thing. But what do you guys think of the Little Red Express Celebration Edition? 2007 Chevy Tahoe from HW First Response. 
this being a rescue Tahoe, you can see the RSQ written on the side, very obviously. Nice yellow color on this one with the light bar on the top end right there. We got the blacked out wheels with the nice colored chrome lip on there. Pretty plain on the rear end, all plastic body on this one though. You can see the front end also very plain. I mean, they got the nice details, but there's no highlights for those details. They've left all the stamping for this side right there. Plastic top, plastic bottom by the, oh, is it plastic? No, this is, I think it's a metal base right here. So metal base, but the plastic top right there. But nonetheless, I actually think this casting is really cool. I think that it just needs a little bit more detail on the front end. And maybe if they made this into a metal body, brought it to premium, that would be super cool. Batman and Robin Batmobile from the Batman series. And there we have the Batman and Robin Batmobile. This one in a very nice gloss black color, pretty clean. We've got like little slots right there of metal like sticking out, which is kind of interesting to see how they've colored that. And it even continues on that rear side as well. There on the front end, we can see that nice chrome kind of looks like a face, almost looks like we got like the bats in there as well. But the question is, are we getting just too many Batmobiles in the Hot Wheels line? We always get lots of Batmobiles every year. Comment down below what you guys think do you think we're getting too many batmobiles or do we need more batmobiles in the hot wheels lineup surfing school bus from hw extreme sports and i guess being from the extreme sports category for this car it's because it transports all the people to wherever they're playing the extreme sports i don't think that this bus is made to be any extreme just kind of looks like a I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's a regular bus. It's kind of like a lowered and hot rodded out bus. So I think in that aspect, it's pretty cool, but I don't know if it has anything to do with the actual extreme sport itself. It's a kind of a bland color on here, but I think it's supposed to be subtle. You can see even how the top like connects with these connecting pieces right here. So it's kind of interesting how they've done that. And you can see how much these rear tires are pushed towards the middle of the bus. And then we have that big engine on the back right there. But what do you guys think of this one? West Coast Flyer from HW Fast Transit. It's an interesting new category for our Hot Wheels series right there, the Fast Transit. And you can see this one's supposed to be some sort of like, maybe a not really a bullet train. Bullet trains don't really look like this, but I feel like it's like, an engine's trained right here on the front, but it's supposed to be aerodynamic. Kind of interesting how they've done that right here. You can see they've hot rodded out. Looks like they chopped the roof line on there. Nice aerodynamics on here. The big exhaust cylinders out right there. You can see from the front end how they've done this one. I don't know what to think about this one. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of different. I, it's hard to say. We'll have to see what the rest of the series brings. Baja Bison T5 from HW First Response. And this is one big casting for sure. You can see how large this is. Big, massive wheel tire combination on this one. We can see it's got first response, the Hot Wheels logo in a different color variation on the side right there. I don't know what that is supposed to be on the top right there. It's some sort of like fan system of some sort. Looks like we got these spare tires on the back, two of them right there. This is, looks like it would be great in the snow. This is a super snow off-roader vehicle. But what do you guys think of this casting and this new color variation? Hot Wilder from HW Megabyte. And this is a new color variation of the Hot Wilder right here. We've seen this casting around for quite some time. And even look at that right here. If you guys have not seen the Hot Wilder casting and how it's got that little bite right here. So it kind of looks like mean and aggressive and then you can open it up, you get those teeth right there. So interesting of a casting to say the least. And then we got that little cat right there on the side of it with the X through it. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to go around and eat those cats. I remember. Yeah, I think this one does when it when it rolls that front end kind of bounces right there. You can see how it's got that bite that bounces. I think they've got something that hits the the wheels and tires. Then they just bounce that right there. Interesting casting on the Hot Wilder. 